Should I ask about your wife's rings? Uh, she hasn't got any. On. I mean, uh, I mean, they're, they're at home. You were told. Glad to see she's okay. And does she look it? When did you let this happen? Ask yourself the same. Her rings aren't at home. She sold them for drugs. Something else you failed to notice. Did she sell herself and all? To you? I love her. And that might be true, but anything else is in your head, so get out and don't come back. She couldn't turn to you because she was scared you wouldn't love her anymore. Some soulmate you are. Nurse! Have I come at a bad time? Can I go sit with Jacob? No, you can't. We're going in a bit anyway. I don't want to go back to the office. Will you stop whinging, leave? The word moose comes from the Algonquin word moosewa, which means twig eater. <laughs> he actually texts you that. <laughs> Uncle Nicky and Molly with a giant moose thing. Oh, they look quite happy. Yeah, there's big up Declan for making Canada the place to be. Did he? No, he didn't. He's just being a prat. Not this again. When I say I want a word, I mean a private word. Oh, hiya. How's the house of mirth? Oh, we should be at the festival today. Gemma's well cheesed off. She couldn't be less huffy if I'd killed and buried Alex myself. There was me thinking I was the Frankie Boyle of this village. We could talk a friend of Amy. It's about Amy, you thicket. Oh, have you got something blunt I can hit him with? You? <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. It's not like you to be witty. Two coffees, please. One is best, thank you. So? Before you go mad at us, I didn't tell you because... Spit it out. Amy regrets having Kyle adopted. Beforehand, it was a bit like a dream. But then she saw him at the funeral and... she felt something I never felt for my kids. What? A mother's love. Are you sure that's not you putting words into her mouth, Valerie? She's got all these feelings, Eric. They're churning her up. Ask her yourself. Well, I will. No, don't, man. She'll think it's me. But it is you. Let's see what she has to say, shall we? Roma's an addict. Like Holly Barton? Well, it's not heroin. Is it cocaine? <laughs> no. Well, crack? No. no. Well, I only know the ones I hear on the telly. Oh, stop it. She's addicted to painkillers. Proper ones? Well, she can't be. Well, she is. Do you mean like from the chemist? Yeah. Is this from America? It always starts there and it comes back here. It's so. But she can't be a drug addict. She's working. She looks after Leo. Well, I'm as shocked as you are. Our girl is going to need a lot of support. Now, Vanessa can run the business. Now, I know you don't like her, but... Vanessa knew about this. And there's other things that I don't want to go into. But if I never see Vanessa again... Paddy. It, I'm serious, Paddy. Paddy! She's bleeding! Nurse! Who would have thought in a million years? I mean... The mother of my kid's a drug addict. Yeah, and she's a good mother. Can you be, though? Can you? When you're thinking about it all the time. But it's an illness, isn't it? Rona is ill. Vanessa, hi. Uh, yeah, come in. Hi. Um, <clears throat> Paddy all but chucked me out. Oh, please. Just a text, anything, when she wakes up. Yeah, all right. No. Marlon, there's no point punishing her. Come on. Vanessa, you know that guy that I saw the other day outside the house? Who was he then? He was a, a, a dealer. I found her extra stash. She grabbed me. We had this horrible fight. God. You could have stopped this ages ago. But she couldn't. Oh, you didn't want her to. She told me it was only about getting the trucks. Never about me. Don't worry. I've been put firmly in my place. Laurel, please don't keep me in the dark.
I've just seen BT off. Yeah, she's a tough old bird. Indeed. Can I see her, though? No, it's the least I could do. I even tried to appeal to his better nature. <laughs> Quite forgetting that the monster doesn't have one. No, he insists I pay to get the medals back. You can always mug him. Oh, don't be silly. All you have to do is to walk in, take them, walk out. Just like that. Easy come, easy go. I knew you were talking about me when you scurried out earlier. I said those things about Kyle to you in confidence. You were bubbling your eyes out. No more secrets, Amy. No, the last time you kept one, you dropped a baby off in the phone box. It's all her. I can't do right for doing wrong. Valerie and Eric Pollard. Yes? We'd like to talk to you about Alex Moss. I'll leave you to it. Amy! But this is much more important. Uh. Marlon! Oh, Marlon, it's been terrible. Poor Rona, she has blood coming from her nose. It, it's all right, it's just some sort of hemorrhage. Yeah, hot sweet tea, that's what you need. I'm fine. Yeah, he, he needs to keep his blood sugar up. You know what I really need? I need you to get back to the surgery. Give her my love when she wakes up. So what's happened? She's too busy slagging Vanessa off, that's what's happened. She sold her flipping wedding rings for drugs. I didn't even notice. Every time she needs me, I miss it. You think I'm a monster? I'm horrible, me, aren't I? Giving our Bella treat later. Got a face like a slap bum since that festival had been cancelled. I wanted to buy her lunch, but she preferred to just slip away. Well, you can't blame her. It's a nasty business. Mm. Beatty left then, Edna. About an hour ago. Mm. You want to impress with the police investigation? No. Been a lot of knocking on doors and no action. Do it ours now. They're talking about an Eric about me. Yeah, well, forget it. Perhaps they'd be better having another word with our local villain, Kane. Oh, why's that? Will you stop gossiping? Kane may be a lot of things, but I very much doubt he's a murderer. Well, that's nice of you to say, Edna. So who thinks I'm a murderer, eh? Well, don't look at me. Look, it's just idle gossip. So I killed Alex. You were jealous he slept with Moira, and before you have a go... Now, that wasn't me that said that. I am just the messenger. What are you on about, you old bat? I wasn't even with her at the time. Ah, oh, no, but you'd had an affair with her, hadn't you? It all fits. Turn the notice, son. He's trying to wind you up. Yeah, exactly, Dad. He's just joking. Hysterical. Since when did murder become funny? The only thing we know about this whole tragic business is that Alex was scared witless. When you say scared, scared of who? Jealous husband. Or husbands. So, he was a bit of a lad, was he? Oh, he was built like a Greek god. I'd have had him. But no offence, Eric. None taken, dear. Either a jealous husband or heavies after their money. And how do you know he owed money? Well, he must have done, otherwise he wouldn't have nicked that cash off Edna. You know, at root, I think he was a really decent lad. Mm. Mr Murray told us there was a tussle upstairs. Uh, we didn't see any of that. No, more the aftermath. Mm. Cameron had hurt his hand. So, yes, he was right. There must have been a scrap. I reckon Alex must have asked him for money. And how did Alex seem when he left? Like he'd been told something he absolutely did not want to hear. <sighs> Such as? Such as, get stuffed, you're not having any money. That was Cameron speaking, by the way, not me. We didn't tell Beatty about this. Um, don't upset people. Add fat to the fire. Oh, the poor boy must have found himself in an awful situation. What he means is he was scared she'd chuck a fit because we were dissing our grandson and not pay the bill. She is starting to come round now. Oh, thank God. And um, what was the nosebleed about? Oh, it's nothing to worry about. It's not unusual after an overdose. Right. Only uh, I know it could be a sign of permanent damage. We're still waiting for test results. Has she, I'm sorry. Has she said if it was deliberate? No. I'll be looking to get a psychiatric assessment. You can go in now. Mm. 
weird thing is, I'm really angry with her. I know. Don't be nice. She nearly died and I'm being a pig. I don't know what I'm going to say to her. Just let her talk. What if I don't want to hear it? Okay, go then. Leave her to it. See if that makes you feel any better. Come on. Whatever you're up to, if there's any bother, run and let him take flat. Sound advice, boom. Ah. I may have spit in your face. You already have. Get your dentures sorted. What was that? Sometimes you choose to do things and then regret it. Oh, yeah, we're well, well. nah. <laughs> not talking about you, Edna. She sold me something and I gave her a fair price on the day. But then the next day it was worth twice as much. Convince me. I'm getting too old for Valerie's dramatics. That's all it was. I had a tiny wobble about Kyle, but it's passed already. Good. Sure. Have you told the police about Cameron's hand bleeding and everything? Yeah. He'd already said there'd been a scuffle. And of course, Valerie announced to the world that she regretted not sleeping with Alex. <laughs> I need a cake and a rest. Oh, strawberry tart for me, please. Hey, you took your time. Well, I'm here, aren't I? This is my dad's treat because the festival got cancelled. Here, get yourself a plain biscuit. Good man. <laughs> <laughs> or oh, the. Uh... Photograph of the baby. Yeah, you can have it back. Uh, well, not permanent. I thought, you know, a copy. No, go on, take it. I want you to have it. Well, well you know what it is when you want it. I want it. Right. What was all that about? Uh, no. Well, uh, it's Kyle. Oh, what a cramp. Oh, yeah, they'll talk to you about that later. They don't want to talk. Do you want a bit of cake? Pearl wouldn't say anything, you know. I would. I think what you need now is uh, uh, friends and family and Leo. I think once you see Leo... I'll snap out of it. It will get, it'll get you better. No, he won't. Leo's not going to get me better. Vanessa's not. You're not. It's not a bloody fairy story, Paddy. I know it's not a fairy story, but you're my centre. I loved you. And I'd do anything for you. Before Marlon, before Leo, before anything, I would do anything for you. And instead of coming to see me, you'd chug a load of drugs down you and nearly died. You said loved. You said I loved you. No, I didn't. You did. No, I didn't. <laughs> Dumped me already. I don't blame you. I'm new talking. Useless. Useless wife. Useless mother. Useless drug addict. Couldn't even get addicted to the proper stuff. I can't believe this. I thought you loved me. 
Well, somebody's woken up a proper Mrs. Grumpy Knickers. <laughs> Tell him I'm sorry. He knows. <laughs> I was talking about the festival. Look, there's an article. Hey. You were having a dig at Declan again because you're so transparent. Oh, I can't mention his name now. Not if you can't say it without sticking the knife I'm in. Going no. to Jay. You do know this has got to stop, don't you? Mum! Yes, no, we heard you. That's fine. Don't you dare have a go at him. Oh, at least I acknowledge that the kid exists, which is more than you do. Oh! Well, tell you what, why don't you try making phone calls instead of complaints? Help me save this business or bog off and play with your own. So, did she just collapse? How much is it? Oh, it's on the house. I really don't know anything. Right, well, it's 1.30 then, please. Thank you. Can't wait to get back to school. Oh, you little weirdo. Just play with your computer thing. See, look, someone's pinging you now. You're all dead weird. Well, at least I don't say sick when I mean nice. It's Noah. Yeah, speaking of sick. I mean nice. He's invited me to eat. Oh, thank the Lord. Tell him I love him and come here. Mwah. Get gone. See ya. So, uh, any news? She's woken up. <sighs> Is she going to be OK? Well, she's alive and talking, so... Paddy told me you knew about the bill taking. You should be ashamed. What else did he tell you? What else is there? Nothing. <sighs> I cannot take it in that she is addicted to drugs. I mean, you think you know a person. Oh, they'll be telling me the Queen's a man next. So, um, <clears throat> do you think I'll be able to see her? Uh, I think it's probably best you keep the surgery ticking over. Leave the hospital to Paddy. Stay away. I get it. Good. Your two thirties in the waiting room. Tumbo. More like Goldilocks. Fall asleep up there. I knew you were up to something in the cafe. When did, when did you get back? Oh, ages ago. Your accomplice is probably still trying to text a warning with his massive, arthritic fingers. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, keep the medals. For the moment. Come on, have a chat. Thank you. Hey, maybe if you eat something, we can have at least one conversation today that doesn't end up in a slam game match. The shoe keeps going on about you-know-who. Anyone would think you fancied him. Hi. Hiya. Pop and crisps. Yeah, can see what they are, thank you. Sorry. The boys. What boys? Our boys. Well, they're with you, aren't they? No, they're here, aren't they? No! You do know the police were here today. Lifting you for conning old ladies. <laughs> Making capital from desperation isn't yet illegal in our great democracy. Hey. Eh? Making profit is not a crime. You know, you're horrible. I, I think you mean immoral. Horrible's fine. Oh, no, 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 no. What? It's got your mucky paw prints all over it, no? So I can keep them. <laughs> You've convinced me Sean it was not right up there, dust catcher. You keep it. Thanks. Mm. You're gonna ask me for money now, aren't you? Should we say five hundred pounds? I just it crept up on me, you know. And some days I wouldn't even have that much. And then one day I couldn't get hold of anything and um, suddenly I was sick. And it hurt. And really hurt. Like some awful, sad, proper junkie. No. How could this happen? And I tried not to do things, you know, when I'd had loads. I tried to be responsible, like... Um, Vanessa would do the operations, or I'd try not to drive. Oh, my God. I know. 
I tried to stop. Like when we went away to the cottage. But it hurts, Mike, physically. It hurts you, Andy. It is just... It's overwhelming. And that's why I had to drink so much. Please don't hate me. Please. No one hates you. Oh, um, have you got me something? Is your husband about? Look, I don't want to die. OK. But I've got so much to live for and I, I can't even properly remember what happened, so... I'm not the psychiatrist, Rona. Oh. My name's Dr Garrett. Right, uh, this is uh, Marlon. He's my son's dad. Never mind. What is it? Should we find your husband? Just say it and then sort me out. This is the second time you've overdosed and been brought in. Yeah, I know, but that was different. You know, I wasn't unconscious. It was still an overdose. Your liver and kidneys can't sustain such a high level of abuse. You were lucky this time. Next time, you might not be. So? You're doing a lot of damage. I'm trying not to. Even so. We, uh, we have a baby, you see. God. When you say damage. If it happens again, next time there's every chance she'll need a transplant. Or worse. So, she's killing herself? Putting it bluntly, yes. <laughs>